that burns. That's what I mean by train harder. There's easy ways to make it harder. You don't have to kill yourself. Did my form look dangerous? Am I gonna hurt myself? No, I didn't swing it to do it. I just worked harder, smarter and harder. Brandon would know how to do this. Why is my face dark, but the whole, the whole, I don't know, there's sun everywhere. Why am I not sunny? Oh, there we go. I guess you gotta lean over and try not to fall over. So is that, is that what you, is that good? Do you guys like that too? Is that water? I can't see what's going on. Oh yeah, there's water way back there. Good. All right, we got our view. All right, this is the downstairs to the gym. So there's quite a few equipment just down here, you know. I'm not gonna bore you with whatever the gym looks like, but do a little quick little thing. Going up the stairs. Here's my warm up, up the stairs and walking to the gym. And I just did the non record thing, forgot to record. So she's warming up there. All right, so I'm doing legs and triceps for the most part. And I'll do a few calves and stuff, but I just got the stack. I'm not going like crazy hard because it's vacation week. When I'm on vacation, I do what I would refer to as a deload week. Deload weeks are when you've been training really hard for a long time and you kind of need a little bit of a break. My deload weeks are usually when I'm sick, like with pneumonia, vacations, or if I'm just like feeling great for so long that I'm like all of a sudden I'm just spent. And you know it, you'll feel it. You're just mentally not into it. You're just like, I just can't push to my limit anymore. Then you just back off a little bit. So that's what I'm doing. I'm not gonna take the week off, just not train quite as hard as normal. So after hip surgery, I had to go a little bit easier. I can't go super deep on these because it'll be bad for my hips. Severe arthritis and whatnot. I don't wanna end up like Ronnie Coleman. <sighs> Control the weight. <sighs> Focus on tut. Time under tension. So as you can see, it's not a super hard set. It's not quite a failure. If somebody had a gun to my head, I for sure could have got a couple more reps. So that's like hard-ish training, but not, not training to failure. So next, do some triceps. No real reason to, to rest, because you know, legs are resting while doing the triceps. So I like this machine. Why? Because it doesn't hurt my elbow. You know, broke my elbow, the tricep was up here, my elbow was up here to sew it back into here. So I'm just making a comeback. So arms must grow, catch back up to where they were. Lost a fair bit of size, almost an inch on my arms from the accident. So I want them to get back to where they were. So again, Slow eccentric, and go faster on the way down, control the weight, good form, tut, time under tension. None of these 15 second sets. <clears throat> A lot safer to train this way too, like avoid injury without jamming the weight, bouncing the weight. Control the weight, don't let the weight control you. 
So, still pretty hard, but not like crazy. There was no parcels, there was no four reps, drop sets. So, I usually train harder than that, but that's beyond what I would call like a hard warm up set. That's like a pretty close to failure set. So. And then I just like alternate back and forth. I'm not gonna show you 55 sets of this, so that's good. Okay, one thing that I used to neglect when I was younger is doing these adductor adductor machines. Abduction is like you're abducted by aliens. They take you away, so it pulls you apart. Adductor, add your legs together. Say so you remember. So basically, you're targeting more the glute medius. And so, when I was younger, I just didn't want to do it. It was a girly exercise. Now I do them all the time. So I really think that if you're a guy, you should focus more on these. Do add these to your program. If you're a girl, you know you're already doing them anyway. Okay. So I'm not into the whole. Eh, like, do you see how easy? Like, it's, you're just making it so simple. Stop changing the machine. You sit back and you do the exercises. Pause if you can. But for me, it's a bit light, so what I do is I push in on the end, you know, on the way in. It makes it a bit harder. And then when it gets too hard, so that I can push even harder, I push out. Okay? You can pause that, get that, like, squeeze at the top. Time under tension, you keep the reps up. No swinging, you know, none of the, no, none of, I could go 100 reps like that. And don't, I gotta do that. Stop it. Just stop it. No, like, none of this, like, no, stop doing that. Okay, and then, uh, this way is a lot harder on this machine. So, the other end. Okay. Man, that's heavy like this. So you squeeze. So obviously you're working in here. Squeeze. If you want to work a bit harder, you can't lock it. Boom. Push to the top. It makes the uh, intensity go up. We can train to failure and beyond easy on this machine. Okay. You know, imagine training with a rep in reserve of four. I'm already there. Like, just no, go to failure. Go harder. Just go harder. Push it in a bit. Squeeze. Lower it down slow. It makes it harder. Work in the center. Squeeze. This is hard. This is beyond failure. I can't, like watch this. I can't do it. But now I can. See, forcing out some reps. It's burning. I'm not done. And then really slow on this last one. Really work it. Oh, that burns. That's what I mean by train harder. There's easy ways to make it harder. You don't have to kill yourself. Did my form look dangerous? Am I gonna hurt myself? No, I didn't swing it to do it. I just worked harder, smarter and harder. I'm running out of battery, so just quick. So leg extensions, squeeze, lower it slow, squeeze, okay. Take your time. Pause. Mm. I recommend higher reps here, at least 12. It's not an exercise you want to max out on weight and you want to control. Squeeze that hard. Remember, I'm not training hard this week. It's deload week. Just hit a few poses. So off, off season and on the resort. After a full belly.
So we're, we think it might rain. It looks, you can't really tell, but it looks like kind of rainy. Her stuff's all out there by the, by the ocean. So we're gonna go lay there for a little bit and hopefully it doesn't rain, but if it does, we'll just head back. And then we can hang out in the, what's it called? The pool by the hotel? The swim up, yeah. We can go there. So I haven't even been out yet today. All I did was gym and like YouTube stuff, you know, work, lots of work. So hopefully I can get at least some time outside. I wonder if our other hot tub is warm today. So we have like two hot tubs that we like to go in. One's bigger than the other outside. Here's the other pool. There you go. Um, hello. How you doing? Hola. Hola. <laughs> Here we go. So we're on the pool. This way. This way. Oh, we're going this way. Oh, man, this is like a delt workout holding this thing up. I feel like doing it like this so you can see up my nose. It's just easier. We're going towards the hideaways section. This, this is, is our section. This is our zone. This is the adult only section. Yeah, because we're like adults, except for me, I'm like six. But, you know, I, pre I look older than I am. I act six. The sand feels like silk. Mexico sand here is gorgeous. The sand, there's a lot of seaweed, but I don't care, whatever. We Who don't cares? swim anyways. Well, I do, I'll go in the water. So there it is. So now I'm going to go on my phone and see what I've missed. Because I haven't looked at my phone in like three hours. So I probably got like 200 messages to go through now. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. So we're back at the room because it started to downpour. So I don't know if we can see this. So it's pouring. So what are we gonna do? Jeez, there's no light. We're gonna go, oh, we're gonna go outside. There's booty. We are gonna go outside into that little water thing, whatever. So yeah, we're ready to go. <laughs> I gotta put this friggin' thing down and actually go outside. Watch out! Oh. <laughs> All right, it is like, Downpour monsoon. What's the name for that when it's like raining hard? Monsoon. It's insane. The water is so warm in here. It was fantastic. And then it's like pouring down on you and the raindrops are cold. But like they pretty much shut everything down. There's lightning that was coming out. It's actually awesome though. The water is so great. Met a couple here. They're joining us. You know, we're all hanging out. Look, everyone's running out there. There is so much rain, but I said, I gotta grab my camera and like, throw this back. And we're gonna eat, I don't know, in probably an hour. But yeah, you really cannot appreciate the amount of rain that is happening right now. Wish you could capture it. It's supper. This is gonna be the last time I bring this camera out because I can't be like filming every single thing I do all week. There's so much different stuff I can't explain. Well, really, I can't. There's two different kinds of whitefish. There's chicken, four different kinds of chicken. There's onions. Thank I couldn't really find much mushrooms, so I barely got any. Cappuccino. I'm gonna go back for seconds. There's like a salad type thing, but if you peer, th peer through it, I don't know if I'm saying it right. It's just a mountain of meat. There, two M's, mountain of meat. All right, so I'm gonna eat this have another meal after this and then a bit of ice cream because we're both going to scream for ice cream and uh, we're out. and that's it so that's just three meals in a day no snacks no extra food probably 1500 calories per meal roughly if I had to guess I mean how in the heck can you I don't know how many calories is in that a lot so hopefully I don't get fat in a week if I do, life goes on. It's not like I'm obese to start with, so I'm not stressed out about it. She's putting butter. That's a huge no-no. Never put butter on bread and stuff, ever. If you, well, I mean, if you don't want to like get fat, don't do it. If you don't care, then do it. Yeah. This is round two. So it's basically a lot of chicken and this time more vegetables and fruit. Now I had a moron who actually wrote me and said, why are you eating keto on vacation? I've looked at your videos on Instagram. 
it was full of vegetables and fruit and meat and cappuccino and full of vegetables and fruit that is not keto keto is when you don't eat carbs i'm eating carbs not as many as <laughs> this lady but i am okay so you got more sandwich. bread and meal too here but that's fine <laughs> and oh, i'm gonna get my mouth over that she says that every night actually only about once a week she does say it. <laughs> Neapolitan complex. Zito. Anyway, I'm going to finish this cappuccino and then get ice cream. Because we all scream for ice cream. And then that's it for food for tonight. So all these people on the, oh, I'm in the Greco Gallagher diet. I get to eat as much as I want because I eat it all at once. I eat three meals a day. More in each meal than he eats an entire day. I win. Sorry, I'm the champ. I win. I eat more. And I'm leaner. What else? What else is new? Shocker. And I got, like Jeff Cavalier gets, 10 calories worth of whipped cream. It's way more than 10 calories, Jeff. It's probably at least 50. Don't kid yourself. Anyway, I'm going to eat some of this and then go back to the room. Right? Or are we watching UFC? I don't think so. I think we'll go back to the room. Back to the room. Are we going to the back to the room and have sexy time again? No, we already had sexy time. That's why I said again. Well, are we just going to relax? Give me that fruit. I had a client who wrote in. Listen to this. Is there anything I can add? Because like my libido's down, it's like really bad. And I'm like, oh man, you know that, yeah, that's, that's concerning. You know, how often do you want it? You know, like expecting like once a week or you know, maybe last once a month. I, I don't want it more than once a day. I only have sex seven times a week. What's time for that? Yeah, I would discuss, we were like laughing. And this is a client, this is a current client. I'm not gonna say his name, obviously. I'm only in my 20s though. I'm like, <laughs> the average person is not having sex twice a day on average, sorry. And yeah, you can add in some stuff, but it's like, dude, you're not 18 anymore. It's not normal, well it's normal, but it's not average to want it twice a day. That's what he expected. That's just a little story for you. I get stories like that or more crazy every single day, trust me.